Hey everybody, we're trying to get set up. We're trying this new prism live, and uh, let's just say it's been a hassle to get it going. So I'm gonna try to bring it up on my laptop to make sure that we're even live. So we are going to be live, but we are going to be making a treat today. So, make sure everything coming up so I can watch everything. I'm gonna, I think I can freeze the screen and what? Anyway, so we are trying out Prism Live today and I got the boss to come with me. And so, We've been having a little bit of technical difficulties learning how to use Prism Live and getting it set up. It kept saying I didn't have an account and all that good fun stuff. So, and now. Somebody wants to know what we're making. Now my uh, Gimbal 2 battery died. So I got it hooked up to a battery. So I'm hoping it holds up. If not, I may have to come over here and reset it every now and then. Y'all like that better? Let's see how that goes. What we are going to make, I was on uh, Beyond Beauty 3 yesterday, I think, on her live. And y'all know how I like to make stuff. And of course, I've only done one video, but and she'll tell you I don't cook much. But I like to make good fattening stuff. And so, uh, here a while back, I made some orange covered, I mean, uh, chocolate covered orange slices. And that video was a big hit, and I think all you guys liked it. But I was on Beyond Beauty 3 yesterday, and she was showing a box of some stuff that she had got. I think she said they come out of Florida. But basically, they were chocolate-covered potato chips. And there's no telling what they paid for this thing. So today on our live, I got Tammy to come on here and help me, and we're going to make a test run. So if it's an epic fail, it'll be an epic fail in front of all y'all. Because we've never made these before. Because we've never made these before, so we don't know what we're going to do. But, let me just get this out and show y'all what we're doing. And then I'll try to greet some of y'all while we warm it up. But if y'all watch the other video, y'all know it's just a... This is just vanilla flavored... Almond bark. Almond bark. Uh, you buy it at the grocery store. It comes in the blocks. I wash my hands, so... And I'm going to eat it, so it don't matter. Anyway, uh, so Tammy's going to break that up, and then she's going to nuke it in our new microwave. Did y'all watch the video about the microwave redo? Y'all are getting to see some of our kitchen remodel in some of these videos. And Tammy won't let me do a uh, kitchen remodel video yet because we like a couple pieces, and with the, everything being shut down, we just don't want to spend any money right now. We actually had every bit of this stuff at the house. Peter chips and uh, the vanilla or white chocolate. And uh, y'all may be here in the microwave. I hope it don't interfere. But so we done have. Let me pull it down here. We got three. Watch. We got Trudy Duro, Mary Jones, Kathy's Outdoor Adventures. By the way. Kathy's Outdoor Adventures and our Gypsy Gal, uh, Giddy Up Gal Gypsy. That's her name. I think her name, her real name, is her name. Anyway, get Gypsy Gal, that's what I'm going to call her, and Kathy's Outdoor Adventures is going to be on our upcoming Tuesday Night Live. So that's going to be a blast. We get to have, hang, hang out with them and have some fun. And so that'll be fun. I'm used to looking at my laptop. So if y'all see me looking at my laptop, I'm just trying this prison because I only get 20 hours a month uh, of stream yard. So I didn't want to go over. And some more breaking news, starting Tuesday night, we're going to go an extra 30 minutes. So we're going to be an hour and a half long. For y'all Eastern guys, Eastern time zone guys, we're going to be going to 11. For all of us central time zone guys, we're going to go to 10. So all we did, we just tacked on 30 more minutes. It just seemed like we couldn't get everything in 
in an hour the way our format is. Uh, so I never want to do it until we run out of stuff to do, but I want to have enough time for everybody to get in their time. So that makes sense. So let's see who we got in here. We got Troop Duo, Games, Junker Necker, Kathy's Outdoor Adventure. She uses this uh, vanilla bark with popcorn and pretzel. Yeah, we do it on pretzels too, especially at Christmas. Uh, Van Life with Gina Payne. Let me tell y'all something. Setting this prism up, y'all act like it was easy, but it wasn't that easy. All right, so how long did you do this, Tammy? I don't even know. I just did 20 second increments because I couldn't remember. You, you know, three or four times. We may have to do more than this because I putting tater chips in here is a bigger. We may have to have uh, more than two squares at a time. And we may have to pour it over it. We're learning with y'all. We may need a spoon, Mom. Yeah, we may have to do this with a spoon. And we may have to do like, yeah, we're going to do this one. Then we're going to melt some more in it so we can dip them down in it. You can well, see, the little ones might be okay. You can see we're having to, uh, whoops, somebody done broke one, and it wasn't me. I just thought this would be fun. This would be really something fun uh, if you're stuck at home with some kids. That looks like a lot of chocolate on the... There you go. Let me tell y'all, learning in front of a live audience, it's probably not the smartest thing to do. But the bloopers will be hysterical, right? So, we didn't really know how to do it. I just thought it'd make for a cool live stream. If you do a video, it you have to do the video. And usually when we do, well, the only time I've ever made anything on video that I've showed y'all, we done it in one take. And I might have cut out some time into different. But meant to be RV and can't wait for your live stream tonight. I seen you getting ready on live stream. This is my first prism live, so I'm hoping this works out because with everything that's going on, I don't want to be one of these that we're just totally wired out, you know. But I, I wouldn't mind two or three days a week doing a live during the day for all of us that's just sitting around doing that and chatting. And I thought this would be fun. The smaller pieces are not as hard. Yeah, but we're going to do four. I think we're going to do four, because that right there was two blocks. That right there would use up quite a bit yeah, of chocolate. Yeah, take a lot of chocolate for chips. Yeah, so she's going to finish this out and do some more. What are you guys up to? Anybody looking, everybody looking forward to the night? And by the way, our, live, our video raid live is a big hit. All of our stats are out the roof, and thank y'all for watching. This past Tuesday night was our most watched during the live. It wasn't our most watched. Trooper Duo, they still hold the record for Video Raid Live. Uh, they are our number two all-time video since we've been doing videos. That's live and recorded video. So. By the way, Trooper Duo is doing a live tonight, I think, in the mix. Trooper Duo, announce it in the chat there and you tell them what you're going to do. I don't know that it's going to be very long. Thank you, Mint VRV. Hey, Mint VRV, did you check out, and you may have, I forget who all commented and who didn't, but if any of you have, have not seen our sticker video that I done a couple of days ago, check that out and uh, email me. I can't do the email thing across the screen. I just don't know how. I may be able to, like I can when I'm on StreamYard. I love StreamYard, by the way. And we get out of this uh, crisis our country is in. My nose is itching. We get out of this crisis our country is in. I may subscribe for our service so I can uh, do all of mine through there. I don't know. I really like that. So. It's easy to use. This right here might be easy. I just got to get somebody to show me. So, I like to never got it hooked up. Blue Wave Odyssey. Hey, Blue Wave. Mr. Bob, I'm going to tell y'all what. I've got to talk to two celebrities on the telephone. Steve Turtle and Bob. Blue Wave Odyssey. And both of them guys are first class. So, if any of y'all ain't hooked up with them, you need to. 
but we just having a fun live. We're making chocolate covered potato chips. I know, it sounds crazy. But BB at Beyond Beauty 3 had a box that somebody had gave her and they had purchased somewhere in Florida. Only in Florida, right? I don't even know if these things taste good or not. But if you can buy covered in white chocolate. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah, Tan like Tarantino. Anything covered in white chocolate has to be awesome. And potato chips and chocolate. I mean, how bad could it be? It's like deep frying, so. What did Kathy say? I missed it. Looks like the boss is done. Yep, you're right. I'm going to tell y'all what. I told Bob at Blue Wave yesterday. I said, uh, everybody thinks I'm a good guy. I just play one on TV. Exactly. Nah. <laughs> I don't think she'd have kept me 32 years if, uh, if I'd been all that bad. And y'all seen all these awesome projects I do around here. I mean, hey, how bad could I be? I'll tell y'all a quick story. Y'all are going to get the exclusive uh, covered bacon. Oh, yes. Hey, I don't think there's a bad way to eat bacon. Yeah, that may be our next video, chocolate covered bacon. We may do that one morning while we're drinking coffee. And wouldn't that be good? And you know what? I forgot to make any coffee. That's terrible. I was so tore up trying to figure out this prism. Let's see here. Troubadero, Troubadero, Troubadero. Did you post when you're going to do your... Uh, Troubadero is going to do... Let me get up here. Did I miss it? Trooper Duo, you can tag me so I can catch it. But post when you're, I think you told me you was going to do a live song tonight and try out live stream. If you don't care, tag me in chat, in the chat, so I'll see it so I can tell everybody. I don't know if you were going to do longer than that or not, but I think y'all were going to do, I mean, I was slammed this morning when me and you was texting back and forth. Tell you somebody else that's first class and that Jill and Bryson at Truba Duo. I think we talk, well, I don't think we text every day. We've never ever talked to each other except on our live stream. Uh, but we text, I think, daily. And uh, they're first class. We have a lot in common with them and they're, they're really great. Uh, but uh, Tammy melting some more chocolate. And when these right here get good and hard and dry, I'll try one out for you. But uh, anyway, we got a big lineup tonight. Let me pull it up. We got a big lineup. Our Trooper Duo is coming up, but we also have, pull up the guide. I love having this guide. So this is Friday night. So Friday night, we have meant to be RVing from 5 till 6 Eastern. All oh, this is Eastern time. And and I'm sure somebody else will go over it. But we have Beyond Beauty tonight. We have New Horizons, Thin Blue Lane RV, Adventures in Xanadu, and RV Kids TV. So y'all check that out. Slow Momentum will probably do an update later on. I'm just throwing all them out there. I love all them guys. I love Slow Momentum. And uh, I love everybody else. On the Tuesday night that we're on, we follow Grassroots Living. What many of y'all ain't never kept caught them? They're a good channel. I don't think we have any bad channels. I don't know of any. Oh, yeah. Now she's dunking them. Look here. That's yeah, the way to do it. Melt you a bunch so you can just dump those babies. I'll try to rake off some of the excess. But then y'all seen me on video make them arm slices, so y'all know I can do it. But somebody's got to run the mouth to keep this thing going. Tammy's the technical person, and I tricked her. I knew that she got that if I could tell her we was gonna make something, she'd get in here because she was gonna make sure I done it right, and I could get her on video. It's hard to get my bunch on video. They say I like to run my mouth, so it just comes natural to me. But I want y'all to know my whole family. My son, I should have I should have turned the video on a while ago. My son, I am so proud of him. And if y'all are parents, y'all are proud of y'all. So this is a this is a dad moment here. But 
my son, Trooper Duo, tonight we're going to sing one tune live at 8.15, wait a minute, 9.15 Eastern. That will be interesting. See how it works. If it comes through, they're going to start doing more. So if y'all read that, so 9.15 tonight, Trooper Duo is going to go live and sing live. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, <clears throat> two weeks. Nope. A week from this coming Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, we will have Kathy's Outdoor Adventures and uh, Giddy Up Gal Gypsy on our live stream as co-host. That'll be awesome. The next Tuesday night, we're going to have the Light Family and a very special co-host. So, y'all will want to check that out. That is going to be awesome. I mean, we're just going to load y'all up that night. Y'all are going to love the co-host. And uh, y'all already love the co-host. Y'all already love them. But they're going to be with us, and uh, that's going to be awesome. And we'll have the Light Family, and y'all going to love the Light Family. Matter of fact, they stay so busy. They're, they're musicians as well. They stay so busy that I tried booking them three weeks ago, and the earliest I could get them is the 31st. So I'm glad to get them. They got a YouTube channel. And uh, True Duo hooked us up with them, but I think I, I haven't looked in a couple of days. They have about 200 uh, subscribers. Man, these chips are coming out great. You gotta finish talking about Thomas. Oh, let me go back to Thomas. <laughs> I follow her, rabbits, and I'm the I'm the person the squirrel runs by. I'm off on something else, so that's why I need co-host all the time. I couldn't do a live stream all the time by myself. Anyway. My son Thomas and uh, a friend of his from nursing school was here doing homework earlier, and they still got to finish this semester. This is they'll be graduating RN school this semester, and then they'll or or Thomas will. I don't know if uh, his friend's going to go on or not, but Thomas will go on into his work on getting his nurse practitioner's degree. But uh, anyway, so they were in here getting ready to do their final project, but. Uh, Thomas, uh, I meant to bring him in here, but the other day my son Thomas got to got handpicked by the president of our college, uh, which is not far down the road, a community college, to represent the college in Montgomery, which is our capital here in Alabama, in front of the uh, board of directors. Uh, College. College. Yeah. Community the colleges of Alabama. Yeah, the was. Community College of Alabama, the board of directors. He got handpicked by the, the president of the college or the, the dean of the college. I really don't know how all that worked. I went to college, but I can't keep up with all that. But anyway, the head honcho and the nursing department to represent. He got to go to Montgomery and represent. And then he gets back a couple of days later, and I don't have a cap on today. Y'all see me wear them First State Bank caps all the time? Well, and I didn't have no say in this. He done this all on his own. But the bank that we bank at, they're a pretty good sized bank now, but the bank that uh, we bank at sent him a letter and he got a scholarship for $500. Couldn't come at a better time either, by the way. So we're really proud of him. Uh, but I'm going to give y'all a scoop. I'm going to give y'all while I go. Grassroots. Because if I talk about Thomas too much, I'm going to start crying. The KT's coming out of him. And, uh, I'm going to have to read a little bit before I start this other story. But uh, Alright, so grassroots had this challenge and I don't even know what all the questions was but one of the things they talked about oh blue wave come in late we are making <clears throat> I'll come back to the story in a minute guys let's tell Bob what we're doing I was on Beyond Beauty 3 yesterday I went to my owner account but I was in the chat and she held up a box of chocolate covered potato chips that she got in Florida so we're carrying it up further we like white chocolate so this is actually vanilla bark that you buy. If y'all seen our orange slice video, it's the same stuff. So we're doing our own white chocolate covered potato chips. And man, 
they're starting to turn out to look good. It, but it'll take a minute for them to dry. But we'll have to make probably all of our chocolate up to have enough for us and Thomas and his friends. They're actually, they went to the camper. And in the garage, I got a bunch of lights mounted so we can see to hang out. And so they're going to go in there. They got to record some presentations. So they went out there to do theirs. But anyway, that's what we're making, Bob. We thought I'd make a great live stream just to do it right on, do it and learn right on the, YouTube. So, but anyway, going back to the thing that Grassroots done, <clears throat> Tammy didn't even hear the story. She wasn't even in the room when Grassroots was telling it. But for those who didn't catch it, the Grassroots couple and their name slipped me, and Bob probably knows it. Uh, anyway, they're awesome. They were one of our first people to support us, and and the first people we met when we first got into YouTube, and and we we're just think it's awesome that we get to follow them on Tuesday night because they always have a good uh, premiere but anyway they met at a church dance and went out and the, the day after they went out on their they went out on a second date I think it was they got engaged to be married and they were married wow. like within a if I understood it right, within a few weeks of that time, they were married. They'd been married, I think they said, 30 years. Pretty good while. But uh, I hope I got all them details right. Any of y'all that was there and watched that, but it was amazing. Me and Tammy don't have hardly that good of a story. But I can tell you that when I met Tammy, and to give you a little back history, me and Tammy had both dated somebody. She had dated somebody and I had dated somebody for a pretty good long time. And we had broke up. And Tammy actually worked with my mom in Tennessee. My mom had moved over around Winchester, Tennessee, if any of y'all know where that is. And uh, so my mom was good friends with Tammy. And she knew that Tammy just broke up, knew that I just broke up. and. She swapped pictures one day of me and Tammy. Anyway, when I first met Tammy that first day, October the 9th, 1987, I'm going to start crying again. I knew that I had met a person I'd spend the rest of my life with if she'd had me. Anyway, that was October the 9th, 1987, and February 27th of 88, we got married. 32 years here few weeks ago so now you know the rest of the story so anyway that's our sweetheart story but uh anybody you come in here we got eight that's pretty good for during the day i'm gonna have to start trying one of these things out so we have used so far how many uh six blocks of we've used six and really we'll need we'll do these other two that way uh thomas and his friend karina uh, yeah, yeah. karina can have some and uh, make it worth doing all this. Uh, I will say, I don't know how much they cost to buy, but this is not very expensive. You remember how much it's like $3 a pack, I think. Something around that. And then whatever you get for your chips is all you got in it. But I would say this right here was nearly a whole pack that we've used. They might have been two extra blocks. I think they're like eight blocks, ain't they? To tell. I, I want to think there are eight blocks per pack. Eight or ten, maybe. And we've used six, and six. she's doing two more, so that'll be eight. So nearly a whole pack, and we haven't got many here. So, you know, if it's worth it to you, but I tell you where it's worth it. If you got kids and grandkids, so Debbie and I, June the 21st, 87, 37 years ago, 32 years ago. Hey, that's all right. So y'all have been married just a few months longer than me and Tammy. That was Bob at Blue Wave, if y'all read that. Our epic adventure. I know, I'll bet you that Shelly. We are making chocolate covered potato chips. And I got the idea. <laughs> I think you actually vanilla bark, but it looked like white chocolate. But me and Tammy, she's actually doing all the work. I'm running my mouth. I'm telling y'all, but it's simple enough 
what makes this project cool is if you got kids or grandkids at home during all this stuff that's going on in our country, this would be a great project to do. And I guarantee you they wouldn't be out of this at the grocery store. They might be out of these potato chips, I don't know. But most people got potato chips laying around. Or you could do like Junker Necker, I think it's him. You could fry some bacon. We're gonna do that next. That may be another live video. Tammy said we didn't have no bacon, so I may have to sneak to the grocery store and buy some bacon. That'd be really good at coffee and chocolate covered bacon. Mmm. That done taste good already. Let's see who all else we got in here. Anybody new that I missed? Anybody new? If I miss you, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to keep up with it both ways, but everybody's in here. I appreciate y'all being in here. And if you see anybody you don't know, hit them up and uh, subscribe to their channel. We just ask if you keep it out of the chat. The only thing, you know, y'all can talk amongst yourself and say hi. We just don't want none of this, you know, subbing or connected and all that stuff, you know. So we just, we like for you to grow because we're up here, we're getting, uh, uh, watch time when we do live events, so you need to gain subs if you can. So it goes both ways. We hope we entertain you. We hope we're just not up here, you know, blowing air out, you know. But, uh, because y'all know how I am. It, it's not about us. I, I like to see everybody do good. And these daytime chat live streams I do, it helps me to do them because it keeps my mind off everything going on. And, uh, I hope it helps y'all, you know. Uh, it gives you something to do besides sit around and think about everything. Uh, so, Mary Jones. Well, Mary Jones has got the sweetheart story. Mary Jones, y'all read it? My husband and me met online, and a week later he came down on a greyhound. January 8th, met in person. A little over a year later, we got married on June the 10th, 2007. Everybody together now. Oh, how sweet. Oh. <laughs> Tammy knows all that sweet stuff. What is it, Blue? Just the luckiest man in the world. That's right. I was on another uh, live stream this morning in the chat. And... Uh, the talk got to be about uh, this lady that went on her cat. She had rose bushes and she happened to be out in her backyard. And they weren't blaming yet, talking about rose bushes. And uh, that was what the chat was about for a few minutes rose bushes. She was talking about how her husband, instead of coming out in the garden getting rose, roses for her, that uh, he goes out there and uh, uh, he goes to the store and buys roses instead of getting them out of the garden and bringing them to her. And she's always getting on to him because she said that, that, that nobody has any roses any prettier than her. But he says he never wants to cut them because they're her roses, you know. And so he always leaves them. But I was telling him that I like to, to do stuff like this for Tammy and write her poems and stuff. And they were like, oh, how sweet. And I'm like, Blue Wave, I know that I've got, I, I married way up. And I got a diamond right here in this. And I know it. And so I don't take that for granted. So Our epic RV adventure. This is Shelly. Michael and I met on a blind date that wasn't a date. Ha <laughs> ha. In March. Got engaged in June and married in November of 91. Well, how sweet. Hey, Blue Wave, did y'all have a beach wedding? Since you're the surfer, dude. We're doing good. We're keeping seven people in here for a daytime live stream. I think that's pretty good. Y'all getting a little peek. I don't know if y'all can tell, but y'all getting a little peek of our remodel here. I don't know. I'll try to do a full video on the remodel whenever she lets me. <laughs> but I got to wait till we get done with all these yes mail projects first. I think to try one of these bad boys. Yeah, hard oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me wait a minute. 
So they're a little messy, you know, but that makes them good. Not messy when they get hard. I mean, they're not, they're just a little wrinkled up. You know, they're not messy. They're hard. You don't have to worry about that. And look at there. You can just see the, the chocolate run through the ripples. I mean, I hate to do that to y'all, but, you know, I, I'd give you a bite. Everybody open up. Here we go. Everybody open up. Mmm. Mmm. I mean... Alright, Rick. Open up. I'll sleep. I love white chocolate. Man. Oh, was that good, guy? <laughs> I talked with my mouth open. Oh, what? How hell did that fair blue wave? You're supposed to took a bite. Trooper Duo got a bite. Y'all could have some of them. I guess since we don't, y'all are out of luck. Uh oh, what are you talking about, Shelly? What I mean? Oh, y'all did have a beach wedding. That is awesome. Me and Tammy just got married like everybody else in a church out on the mountain where she's from. And uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I think the way y'all seen the pictures, y'all been on our Facebook page. Uh, let's see here. Who else? What else we got going on here? Did I miss Trooper Duos? Okay. Alright. For those who didn't catch. <clears throat> Trooper Duo, Bryson and Jill. That Trooper Duo. They met, became best friends, and married within seven month period. September the 3rd, 2008. It's when they made their vows in their God. So they've been married 11 and a half years. Well, how sweet. Uh, that is awesome. And by the way, September's an awesome month too. By the way, that's the month of mine and Tammy's birthday. Tammy's is the thirteenth, and mine's the twenty-fifth. So, and Groot and Bentley's. Do what? Oh, yeah, Groot and Bentley are puppies. That's their birthday too. September the fifth. September the fifth. Mm -hmm. Well. So, by the way, for those that's been asking, Group Bentley is doing good. Uh, those that don't know, they both got parvo after having their shots. Uh, but wound up, only thing we can figure is we've got them from some friends of ours. And, uh, and we know we trust them for what they said they did, you know, and they both had all their shots. The only thing we can figure is, is the temperature change on the medicine that they had in stock. And that lowered the potency of it or something. But... The vet said that it could have been anything, but uh, anyway, we like the lost group. Group didn't do well at all. We put them in the hospital. They both stayed in the hospital, but uh, little Bentley, he acted like nothing was wrong, and but he did test positive. But uh, group, now he was even when we brought him home from the hospital, he was just skin and bones. I mean, he liked to left this world, but. Uh, but he survived. They're both doing good. Wide open as a case knife, as everybody says. Let's see here. That is all. Hey, you tell Michael that you're busy, Shelly. You got more important things to do. Tell him to put everybody else on hold. <clears throat> Blue Wave, your son was born in September. That's cool. Uh, 
whose birthday is it? Sharon, happy birthday. March is the ninth month for birthday. Oh, simply Sharon. I got, I'm sure I have subscribed to your channel. I just want to make sure. No, I'm not. But I will fix that in a minute. Because y'all know me, I only do it the right way. So what I done is I left the tab up. And when the live stream's over, I'll watch one of your videos and I'll do it right. Good deal. I like gaining new people. Trooper Duo, glad your pups are okay. Thank you, Trooper Duo. Man, that, that's... We couldn't have stood to lost any more pups. We lost our baby of 10 years, nearly 10 years, Christmas Eve, and that, that was tough. You lose these babies, they're like family. So we made, I ate two of these chips. So y'all, can y'all see how many we got here? How many we got, Tammy? We got some partials, so. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, it's kind of hard. They're probably a good size Ziploc bag full. Can't eat off this side yet, because they still ain't. They see her fun. Oh, man. Root wants one, don't you, Root? I don't want to tell you. But they're good. So what's new out there, everybody? Y'all making it? Anybody need anything that we need to know about? Got a chip. Uh oh. Tammy's feeding the baby some of our chips. They like them. They spit them out. Not the chocolate covered ones, though. <laughs> oh, she's feeding them regular chips. Yeah, I see how you are. Working and lifting. Bob works more than, uh, well, me and Tammy don't work much in the winter, but this time of year, normally we've started kicking off. And this is, we're like farmers. October is our harvest week. What's that? Start, I mean, everything's put back for winter. October, we wind our season down, and this time of year, we're, we're cranking everything back up and trying to make some money to buy groceries. Haven't been able to do that lately. So, but it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. We're all going to make it, and it's all going to be good. And uh, uh, I'm just really not worried about it because uh, it don't do no good. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Michael. I'm trying to keep up with chat. And we ain't got many in here, but it's still, if you turn your head just a few minutes, you miss somebody. And I hate to miss people. Y'all gonna have to try this though, I'm telling y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna leave any for Thomas. Man, they're not very good. The more chocolate, the better too. But they're good either way. But <laughs> Shelly wins the the fan of the day award the subscriber of the day award goes to Shelly for telling Michael that she's busy because she's watching our live stream he'll understand tell him that Bob's here it'll all be okay Bob at Blue Wave Odyssey tell him that he's here and he's supervising all of us all of us wild guys and gals and he'll be okay I got a new game that we might play Tuesday night. I got to get with my co-host. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I thought of it last night. You know, you know how you always think of things when you're laying down in the bed? I'm too lazy to get up and write it down, but I got it remembered. Oh, Bob, another bite. Hang on. This one's got a lot of chocolate. All right, open up. 
Did you get it? That's how KT would do it. All right, you ready? Here we go. Man. Mm. Sure was good. It's hilarious. Watching the phone over here doing the prism. And then coming over here watching it. Because of the delay. So I can do it over here and come over here and watch myself and see how good I did. That's hilarious. Kathy's Outdoors. Can't wait to have you guys. Oh, I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all have got to... Uh, Hang on here. I can't imagine. So, Jill, before you leave, now do you homeschool all the time? Look at this as our baby. This is Groot. This is the one that takes after me. He loves Daddy. Bentley, if you mention his name, he runs out of the way. But Groot is the man. Groot would just hate this tire into this right now. And He's smelling him. Oh, yeah, he's got a snipper, and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> also, uh, you can't see, Jill. You can't see, Trooper Duo, see y'all. What's? I'll try to catch you tonight. I'll do my best. I ain't got nothing else to do. But I love hearing y'all anyway. I didn't mean it like that. But I, there should be no reason why I ain't there. What would you think about them, Blue Wave? What y'all think about this? Y'all got to try this. Some of y'all might be still getting to work, but the rest of us, we ain't got much to do. So we gotta be creative, come up with things to do. But, uh, man, I need a cup of coffee now. Now, is this prism, do y'all like, like how it's doing and all that? Can y'all see any difference in it? The thing I don't like, and I'll have to talk to some prism people, I like being able to run our banner across the bottom. By the way, if any of y'all want a sticker, it's our channel name at gmail.com. So, it's easy to remember. Uh, and uh, don't forget on Tuesday nights. Hang on here. 9.30 Eastern. I'll get it right. To 11. On Tuesday night, it's our regular schedule live. And we have fun. It'll be, it, it's always laughing and cutting up. We don't take things too serious. And we try not to talk about what's going on in the world. Just have fun. And we try to learn about people. Even if it's people we've been around a while, sometimes we learn a lot about them once we keep them on for an hour or an hour and a half. And that's why I love my, my co-host. Uh, because when you have them on there, you get to laugh and cut up. Just like you're sitting around drinking coffee. If you just go to somebody's channel, you watch one video or maybe two videos, you still really don't know nothing about anybody. So you can learn once we sit around and cut up. I like that part of it. And I always try to have, besides our co-host, I always try to have somebody that nobody, that none of us have met before. Somebody that we can help. Uh, so... It's, uh, it's just a little spin-off of what everybody else is doing, but I think we have fun. And, uh, I thought we had a real good show last week, KT and uh, Steve Turtle. Steve Turtle's been a friend from day one. Uh, I actually talked to him on the phone about an hour the other day and talked to him again just here a couple days ago. And, uh, he is a hoot. Uh, he's the same on the phone as he is on, t uh, on uh, YouTube. I like that. I like being around real people. I said that about Beyond Beauty, BB. Uh, she's real. And I like channels that are real. I don't like this. You know, there's nothing wrong with high-tech, ed highly edited video. There ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'll take a good old-fashioned homegrown channel any day over that. Uh, but uh, what else is going on, guys? Uncle Lisa's production. Hey, we just uh, got done. For those who come in late, we just made a bunch of uh, chocolate-covered potato chips. You make quite a bit. Yeah, make yeah. 
I mean, it's more than I thought. It didn't look like much. That bowl is slap full. And I'm going to tell you that that chocolate's a little rich. About three or four of those is about all you'd want to eat. And if I had a cup of coffee, I might could eat a couple more. And I don't know, I'm slacking. I should have had the coffee first. That's the most important ingredient. Thank Bob. Uh, like I said, a lot of people think I'm a good guy, but what they'll say, and I stayed at a, a Hilton or a Holiday Inn Express, is that what it is? I'm bad to stay at Hilton. Anyway, uh, thanks for all that. We, uh, everything about us is, is it's not about us, it's about everybody else. And that's what we like, me and Tammy. Uh, we just, believe it or not, there hadn't been a lot of things in our area that we could do. We, we have a lot of good people in our area where we live. Uh, we actually, and some of you may already know this, but me and Tammy and the kids, we uh, formed our own nonprofit uh, Christian organization several years ago just for doing mission work. And uh, we wanted something that our business friends could contribute to and get a tax write-off at the same time. Uh, uh, so we knew we had friends that liked to do that, but because and the way things were set up, they just couldn't give individually. And sometimes big companies will help you if they can get that tax break. Now, I'm not saying whether that's right or wrong, but I know you need to use everything you can, you know. But anyway, we developed Dirt Road Missions. That's our nonprofit. And we help locally and around the world through our friends. We can't do it by ourselves. But we try to do a lot of work locally. But believe it or not, we've not had to do much. Uh, during this crisis because there's been such an outpouring from other agencies and we have just allowed everybody to do that because not that we don't want to help we do and we will wind up doing some stuff but uh, uh, not everybody helps everywhere if y'all understand that so we can if we don't have to help here we can help somewhere else or we can put that money toward digging another well, or we can, you know, there's a lot of things. Feed My Starving Children. That's a great organization, too, if any of y'all ever want a global, which we're a global organization, but if you want something uh, to deal directly with feeding kids around the globe, they can feed kids for a quarter a day. So, if you ever need any info on that, it's, uh, just shoot me an email. Uh, we don't care if you help us or help somebody else. We're just glad that people help somebody. But if you ever do want to help us, we track where your money goes. So you always know. And we keep out, I don't know that we keep out any money. My, me and Tammy usually pay all the administrative costs ourselves. Uh, like we have to pay to have taxes done every year. Now we will take that out because sometimes that gets pretty pricey. But uh, there is, I mean, like we use our own you know, paper and pens and, I mean, you know, we don't have no overhead, hardly at all. I'd say less than 1% of the money comes in goes for anything uh, to do with tracking the money and all that. But I got a project I want to do with you guys, but I'm going to wait till we get out of this situation. And uh, it's going to be something fun that y'all can participate in if you want to. And uh, it'll allow me to carry y'all around the globe with us and uh, I think it'll be fun I think y'all like it and uh, but I'm gonna wait and until later to do it and uh, 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 I think y'all really gonna enjoy it I thought of it the other day uh, it's got to do with our stickers and uh, I think y'all really like it and uh, uh, I get to talking about missions guys y'all just have to bring me back into the real world uh, Man, I'm glad we have maintained about seven people for nearly an hour. That's pretty good. And I think we done pretty good. That right there bowl, which, you know, I ate three or four. Tammy, did you eat any? So Tammy eat one. Yeah. And uh, so that right there probably cost what? So $3. How much are the chips? Mm, two or $3. Two or $3. But we ain't got, we don't have 10 cents worth of chips in there. Probably maybe 50 cents worth of chips. So we got about $3 and a half. 
If you count three dollars for the chocolate, let me bring all. You can see about how big that bowl is. I don't have a big hand, but I don't know what to compare it to. Let me see. All right, I tell you what. This bowl is about a half inch. If you laid my iPhone on its side, this phone, this bowl is about a half inch deeper than my phone is laid on its side, and it's about the same length as my phone. So that way you know about how many we made. That'd be a pretty good treat. It wouldn't last long at a you know a football party or nothing, but it would be something to carry somewhere. It would be different. Went to a uh, Christmas thing one time and. Uh, my aunt made something I really like. Y'all may have made it before. My aunt made a, was it pecan pie cheesecake, wasn't it? It was a pecan pie cheesecake. Any of you ever had that? I'm gonna tell you what. Now that's to die for. I love cheesecake and I like pecan pie. Now I like it pretty good, but I wouldn't say that I just love it. Cheesecake I love. Uh. Is James eating the chips? James, did you not get one a while ago? I'll have to share with y'all after the live stream one. Too bad we can't mail these out. Man, I, I bet that wouldn't be safe to eat. I guess we could put them in a Ziploc bag. We could have a drawing on it, couldn't we? We could have a drawing for everybody here and gave away a Ziploc bag for them. But anyway, have any, have any of y'all ever eaten a pecan pie cheesecake? I ain't gonna make one. I can't even make neither. Tammy, you made one, didn't you? I don't know if I did or not. I can't remember. This right here, lady, right here. I'm gonna tell you what she does make. Now, my dad's been over here helping us some with this kitchen remodel. And he, my dad loves me and I love my dad. But if I wanna get my dad to do something here at the house, all I got to do is say that my wife will make him some fried blueberry pies. And before I can hit the end button on the phone, he's knocking on the door. I mean, I ain't kidding. She can make some fried pies. She, to me, fried apple pies are to die for. But my dad likes blueberries. And they're a mess to make. It's a pretty big job. And they're a disaster. But my daddy absolutely loves them, and my little brother, he loves them. And uh, I think we're going to have to start trading fried pies to Scott to come mow the yard. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. We had somebody mowing their yard, and with everything going on, I mean, I, I ain't kidding you guys. When things happen like they're happening, me and her, we, we drive up all the money, you know, because we just don't never know. I think it's all going to be good. But we don't roll the dice like that. We're a little more conservative than the average person. But uh, anyway, and we don't have as much to play with. Uh, but anyway, she can make some mean fried pies. Let's see, what are we laughing about? Somebody makes an awesome pecan pie. Who makes the awesome pecan? Debbie. Woo wee! I like pecan pies. I really do. Bob. Fried pies are a winner. Uh oh, Tammy. They're done hollering for a fried pie video. I can't do it. The blueberry fried pie, they're awful. The blueberry, I don't know what it is, and I agree with it, they are, but my daddy loves them. They're good, though. They're really good. I love them, too. I don't like them. They're, that's not my cup of tea, Tammy. They won't even, we can't even close the lid. I know. We can't uh, but she'll have them, like, you know how you see a fried pie. They're nice, form, uniform. You can pick them up, eat them. Boy, they're good. Not a blueberry. Blueberry is the one she made, and she makes them out of the same stuff, like the, the dough and all, it's the same thing. But you better get your fork and a napkin. You're going to need it. That blueberries and things are everywhere. Nasty. All right, so they're saying you can make any kind of pie. They want a video. <laughs> Shelly, Shelly's acting its own now. 
That's the only way she can get away from Michael. That's her husband. I tell you what we need to do. We may have to do a video raid live one night. I, this is just a great idea. I think it's what we're going to do. We're going to do a video raid live one Tuesday night. And Tammy's going to make her favorite thing. And we're going to have two co-hosts like uh, Shelly and uh, maybe Jill or somebody else. And y'all are going to make one while the live stream is going on. Wouldn't that be a great live stream? I think it would be awesome. See, I could be the commentator. I could talk about everybody else's. Or the husband, like Michael, could talk about what Shelly was doing. Oh, I know who we need on here. Thin Blue Lane. Uh, I am terrible with names, but get them on here and, and whoo, man, they could cook. And uh, we could just have a uh, Tuesday night video raid live cook-off. Not really a cook-off, because I know they'd all be good, and I don't like to get into that picking. But, uh, That'd be good. Uh oh. Cherry pie. Who makes cherry pies? No, I like cherry cobbler. Yeah, she loves cherry cobbler. They got mad at me yesterday. Who was it? Shelly, were you on BB live chat yesterday? Was it Shelly? I think it, it I mean, I think it was BB that I got in trouble. I think it was beyond beauty. Yeah, we were talking about lasagna. Tammy can testify. To my hatred of lasagna. I just won't eat it. I have never liked it. I've never eaten any good. And we were talking it on Beyond Beauty 3 on her, her chat yesterday. Yep, yesterday. They were talking about lasagna and about how good it was. And you know me, I can't keep my mouth shut. So I chimed in that I didn't really like lasagna. But that we had went to a church function a couple Saturdays ago and I that's what they serve. And, you know, I don't hardly ever turn down any food. But, uh, anyway, I'm not a biggin', but for 5'3", I'm a pretty good-sized guy. But, uh, nothing wrong with that either. Anyway, uh, they serve lasagna, and I ate that. And, man, that stuff was amazing. If I could get that served every time I ate lasagna, I'd be a lasagna eater. I mean, I'm just not kidding. But, uh... But yeah, I like getting a doghouse over there because I think they were a lot of lasagna eaters. Lasagna rocks. Now Tammy makes lasagna. Occasionally. Occasionally. Though. Our daughter absolutely loves it. Ain't that what Keisha likes? Well, she likes it some, but her ex-boyfriend, she got a recipe from his mom, so yeah, she liked that recipe. What are y'all's favorite? What's y'all's favorite dessert? Let's go back to dessert. That's my cup of tea. Uh-oh. Somebody's bad mouth me over here. I, yeah, Uncle Lisa. Yeah, you was at Beyond Beauty 3 yesterday trash talking me, wasn't you? <laughs> yeah, that's who it was, trash talk. Yeah, I told him all. Yeah, yeah, that's who it was. You were a bit ashamed of yourself. I gotta walk around here. Y'all got excuse me. I got I got a new laptop, not new, a used one, and the battery is horrible on it, and so I have to keep it plugged up so I can't get to my coffee pot. But uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pick me a cup of coffee, but I think I'll wait. I just got thinking it pretty loud. But uh, so, what's y'all's favorite dessert? What enchiladas? That's not a dessert. Oh, you like enchiladas more than lasagna? I guess. He's yeah, saying. more than lasagna. I tell you what I love is me, me and Tammy in our business, we eat out a lot because we're on the road a lot. And we got this Mexican joint down in Scottsboro, Alabama. Me Concedos, right? No, Buena Vistas. Buena Vistas. I mean, that place is awesome. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful restaurant. I don't know if they have them all over or not. They have two within an hour of us. The one that's got for about 20 miles from us. But anyway, uh, I like chicken fajitas. I could eat, I could eat a lot of chicken fajitas. And they do them right. And their salsa, man, man. Tammy thinks it's too hot, but I really like it. But I can eat chicken fajitas at about any Mexican restaurant, and I like them. 
We got another Mexican joint about 10 miles from here up in Henniger. What's the name of that place? Lamones. Lamones. It's really good. And, and I mean, when you order a chicken fajita, it's that big. Ain't it, Tammy? It's way that, more than one person. It's can way eat. more than one person should eat. Pineapple graham cracker crust pie. Well, now pineapple, that has to be good. I like anything pineapple. You gotta leave, Bob? No, oh, okay, right you're now. not leaving, okay. Oh, be right back, he said. Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, what else y'all got wrote down up here? Mm -hmm. He's offending the... <laughs> Alright, Shelly. We don't need no more crap started here today. I got my wife here. Y'all getting me in trouble with her. I've tried to get him to eat lasagna for years, but no. Yeah, I'm not... I don't even eat spaghetti either. I can eat spaghetti, but my spaghetti has to be covered in meat. Like, I want more meat than I do sauce I guess. I want a meaty sauce. Does that make sense? I can eat spaghetti that way. These guys don't like it that way. But I can just eat the meat. Especially if you got taco shell. <laughs> I know that's crazy but I just ain't a me and Italian. Now the bread, what's that bread y'all make? That's pretty good. Uh, that y'all eat with your uh, spaghetti. Bread? What? Bread? The bread that you make for the uh, Spaghetti. Garlic bread. Garlic bread, yeah. I like that. That's pretty Unless good. Lemon bars. Where's the lemon bars? Meant to be RVing. Do you make them? Meant to be RVing? Do you make the lim lemon bars? I like lemon too. Mm -hmm. I like lemon too. Oh wow, Shelly! Oh wow, you had me a coffee. I just seen the coffee, and it was hard to read the rest of it. So, have y'all got to go over there and eat, Shelly? Y'all got to go over there and eat at their restaurant? When I say Shelly, guys, I'm talking to our epic RV Adventures. In case y'all don't know, Shelly is on about everything that we do. Every live stream, just about all the time. And I got to know her way early on in our YouTube channel as well. But I still have a hard time with names. Like, I might not remember Shelly's tomorrow, but I've, I've been pretty good to remember it. Lemon bars would have to be good. Hey, y'all kids do crazy stuff. Our Thomas, I want to tell you something. He likes crazy stuff. When he was little, we adopted him. We got him when he was about a year and a half old, but we didn't legally get him till he was about three years old. It took a while. We were foster parents, and uh, anyway, but when he was little, he loved taking lemons, and all kids do that. Love taking lemons, put them in his mouth, and, I, and we used to laugh and have fun. And him and Keisha both done that, didn't they? Our daughter, they both loved to put lemons in their mouth, and suck the lemon juice out. Well, as Thomas has gotten older, he loves to do lime that way. Like, he'll put lime in his water. Ugh. He loves lime. He loves lime. I don't know where he got that at, but... Our son is a half American, half Guatemalan. And so he's got a few crazy things about him. So I don't know if he gets that from the American side or the Guatemalan side. I'll tell y'all a funny story. When we... We would adopt Thomas either way, but when we adopted Thomas... When they told us he was Guatemala and all, we thought, well, that'd be great. He'll be short like us. I don't know if y'all seen our son, but our son's about, he's close to six foot, ain't he? He's close to six foot tall. And uh, and so that just blew our mind. But anyway, when, when we got Thomas, like I say, he was about three year old when we officially got him, but we had him from the time he was a year and a half old. Well, our son, I don't know if, any, if all y'all have seen him, which he don't look like this now. He's lightened up a lot. But when he was little, 
he was real dark black. He had a lot more Guatemalan blood in him than he did American. I mean, as far as traits. And, uh, I'll have to find that Instagram account, Shelly. Uh, but we're on Instagram, too, if any of y'all don't have a same name. Daydream about nice things. But, anyway, Thomas was dark. I mean, he was real dark complexed and jet black hair. I'll try to find a picture of him when he was little. We ain't got no picture around here, have we? I don't think so. Tammy will try to find a picture. But anyway, he was real dark black, did jet black hair. Well, our daughter was having some kind of outpatient surgery in Birmingham. So we were down there sitting in the lobby, and Thomas was at home, uh, at daycare or with my, my dad and him or something. We didn't have him with us. But we were sitting there in the lobby, and there was a lady beside us, an older light lady. And we got to talk to her, and she was in, she went to Church of God Church, and we used to go to a Church of God Church, so we knew a lot of people in the Church of God. And we had friends all over that had, you know, been pastors in different places. But uh, anyway, so we she started talking about her grandkids, and we're talking about Thomas and Keisha, you know, and tell her why we're there. And, so, kind of dark in them. He's not real dark in here, but I'll show y'all this picture. This is the kids when they were younger. He's pretty, he's probably six or seven year old right there. Five or six, anyway. Mm, I don't know. Might not be that old. But he had lightened up a lot then from when he was a baby. But uh, anyway, when he was a baby, he's real dark. Anyway, so me and, this, me and Tammy and this lady's talking, and, uh, Work, you know, she pulled out her pictures of her grandbabies, you know, and we're oohing and ah, you know, and so I whip out a picture of Thomas and Keisha, and uh, I first I pull out a picture of Thomas, and I, I gave it to her, and I said, that's our boy, you know, and I never told her that he was adopted or anything. I said, this is our boy right here, and before I could say anything about him being adopted, she looked down at that picture, looks at me, looked down at that picture, and, and uh, looks at me, and I promise you, Tammy was there. She is my witness. She looked at me with the straightest face you could have. Did she not, Tammy? And she said, oh, he looks just like you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> True story. Not making this up. But we love him. He really, I don't know how, but he's light, his skin lightened up a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's all this redneck food we're feeding him or not. But. So, what y'all have for supper last night? Guess what I had for supper last night? I had a southern delicacy, I guess is how you say it. Sweetie here made me one of my favorites. I had cornbread and milk. Any of y'all like cornbread and milk? Hello, Hello. So the puppies is coming back in here and they like to have their, their attention. All right. Well, y'all got anything else y'all need to throw in? Mm -hmm. Debbie made cheeseburgers. I could eat some cheeseburgers. I tell you what Tammy started doing. This is my boy right here now. Uh, you tell everybody hi. I eat the wild child. I forgot what I was saying now. What was I saying? Something. I'm talking about cooking. Somebody made cheeseburgers. Oh, I'll tell you what Tammy started doing. Tammy bought an air fryer. And at first, I didn't like french fries in the air fryer. I'm just going to be real with you. It's an acquired taste. But now I love them. And, and she's found some better fries. And she actually gets them at Dollar Tree. Of all places. And I like them. She air fried them. Well, I've always... Like, especially when we're around here for lunch, she just picks something quick, you know, and 
Because usually we're in and out. And, and I have to go get on my school bus. And so we're just in and out all day. And so it's not no big elaborate lunch. A lot of times we just have sandwiches. But a lot of days for lunch, I'll eat chicken fingers and fries. And, uh, well, she's always deep fried my chicken fingers. And, uh, she buys those breaded when you know. Well, the other day, and I've had them this way, but I don't know why we had not never been picking them. She threw them things in the oven. Man, them things are good. So now I have oven-cooked chicken fingers and air-fried french fries. It's pretty good. Shelly loves her air fryer. Sweet potato fried. Oh, oh. Bob is on like, to something right the here. Instant pot better than my air fryer. Do what? Love the instant pot. No, best. no, no, no. Look, look what Bob's got right here. Sweet potato fries are awesome in the air fryer. I'm gonna have to check that one out. Does he make his own? Does he buy the sweet potato fries? Do you buy your own sweet potato fries, Bob? The expert wants to know. Or do you buy your potatoes and cut them up? Oh, who was it? Now, I, now I want the recipe if y'all got it nailed down. But, our daughter made some ribs. I am a real, 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 real picky rib eater. They ain't but one or two places that I even order ribs. But they are delicious, fall off the bone, good. I'm picky. So if you if I come to your restaurant and you tell me I need to try your ribs, be prepared for me to be honest. Critic. I am a rib critic. Anyway, but Keisha, our daughter, had this what is it, Instapot. Instapot recipe. And yeah. she made me some ribs one time that was spot on. Not as good as Bad my boys up here at Henniger, about 10 miles away. One of my favorite places to go eat. But, uh, oh, Debbie makes them fries fresh. Uh, I didn't know how she seasons. <laughs> yep, Tammy wants to know the recipe. But, uh, anyway, she made them really good one time, rib in this Instapot. Really, really good. But she changed the daggone way she done it, and they ain't been fit to eat since. So do any of y'all have a good Instapot rib recipe? Let's see here. Quick taste fries. All right. Tasty pasta, tomato sauce. My no, you'd have pasta and tomato sauce, Uncle Lisa's production. You have to eat all that old Italian stuff. Everybody likes cornbread. I, I cornbread and milk. I mean, I know I ain't the only one that does that. A jar you can get your spoon to the bottom in. Cornbread, fill it full of milk. Man. But I will say, have your heartburn medicine on hand. Let's see here. Oh, really? Shelly, I never tried warming up fast food fries in the air fryer. Hmm. That, that's a thought. Let's see. Let's go down here. Yeah, Tammy's got to make some of them sweet potato fries. Homemade potato fries sure is tasty. Yeah, Tammy used to make a lot of yeah, but I deep fried them every homemade time. fries. But yeah, she deep fried them. I don't know how, how good they'd be in the air fryer. But now, y'all have Dollar Trees in y'all's area? I'm sure you do. They're everywhere. They're everywhere up here, Dollar Tree. They just put a brand new in our little bitty town right here next to the red light. Uh, but... Uh, Tammy buys my freak fries there, dollar a bag, and they're good. They're really good. I like them. Love some rib. Meant to be our van. If you are ever up near here, if you'll stop by, I'll carry you to a place, and you'll never eat rib anywhere else. I'm going to tell you how bad it is. So, one of the first trips, probably was the first trip, or one of the first trips. Me and Tammy hadn't had this camp for very long, this toy haul. So probably October, November, me and Tammy 
takes off to uh, Sevierville to uh, fairly new campground up there. It's about two year old. It's a pretty nice, they're pretty restrictive. Uh, like they don't allow pop ups or stuff like that, but uh, we probably had one of the cheapest rigs in there. And we got a 2014 work and play toy hauler, so I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. But we probably had one of the, the least expensive rigs in there. And uh, a lot of high dollar coaches. But anyway, we went up there and camped at Anchor Down. If y'all ever need a nice, super nice, you know. But now let me just say, Camper Life, I watched one of his videos and that reminded me their Wi Fi was terrible. To have such a beautiful, nice place, their Wi-Fi is terrible. So if you ain't got some other way of internet, I don't know. We do pretty good. I can work going down the road with my hotspot on my phone. And so I installed it. We ain't got to use it yet. And I'll do a video of how I installed it. But we just installed a WeBoost system in our camper. So we went to the campground, we couldn't even hardly get a call out, and that's bad in our business. We have to be able to get calls, because we have to book events, even if we're not doing them right now. You know, we book events way out. But anyway, we was at Anchor Down camping, and somebody told us about this restaurant, pretty nice restaurant in Sevierville, and it is a nice restaurant y'all need to go to. It's called The Local Goat. And, uh... <clears throat> Uh, anyway, Tammy's got to go talk to our daughter on the phone. But anyway, uh, this restaurant's called The Local Goat. If you're coming in from the interstate, you know, and you make a right to go into Sevierville, you go over the hill our little ways, and it's on the left. It's called The Local Goat. We go in and sit down, and this girl says, Hey, said, uh, Oh, who is challenging me? Shelly, what are you challenging me on? The ribs? Alright. Anyway, so we go in this local go. Pretty nice. When you go in, you first you think, well, you're not dressed up enough. Because I have blue jeans on. I don't know. I probably had a shirt on like this. I, I, you know, I'm chillaxing. This is a chillaxing trip. This ain't a dress up. And and I don't do many of those days anyway. But anyway, uh so, but once you turn the corner and see everybody sitting in there, they're in shorts and blue jeans and, you know, it's a real nice place, but it ain't that kind of nice. We sat down, the girl waiting on us, she said, y'all ever been here before? And we're like, no, first time we've been here. She said, do y'all like ribs? <clears throat> you know, I'm a nice guy. And I, and I was real nice. I said, I love ribs, but I'm a picky rib eater. She said, you'll like our ribs. And I said, no, well, I may very well like them, and I hope I do. And I said, but I'm a real picky rib eater, so do you think I'm going to like them if I tell you I'm a real picky? And Tammy looked at her and said, he's a real picky rib eater. She said, you'll like them. And uh, I said, all right, I'm going to take your word for it. And I ordered some ribs. And I got them, and they did. They looked good, and they, they would come off the bone. If they don't, if you can't pull the ribs out of the meat, like if you got to pull it off, no good. For one, there's no need to even taste in them if you have to pry the meat off the bone. If the bones don't come out of the meat without any effort, they're not worth even sinking your teeth into them. I'm being honest, that's just the way I was raised on eating ribs. If we make them here at the house on the trigger, that's the way they gotta be. Anyway, but they they met all the qualifications up front and they were good. And I would order them again at their restaurant. They got into that, you know, top five or whatever. They're not Bama Boys, Bama Barbecue, Bama Boys Barbecue up here at Henry. They're not that good. But they were top five good. So there is a place in Sevierville. If you want good ribs, that's the place to go. The local go. What we got going on here? <laughs> hey, Bob. Uncle Lisa Production. They'll do some trash talking. Let's see here. Catch up. 
No Dollar Trees in Finley. Oh, that's why you're trash talking, Uncle Lisa. You want? I guess your name Lisa, so we can call you Lisa. Your name might be Robert. I don't know, but. Bob, you make awesome ribs. Do they meet my qualifications? Hey, I'm gonna tell you something, Bob, about Uncle Lisa Production. I was at BB's, Beyond Beauty. I was in her chat the other day, and they teamed up on me. And they, Uncle Lisa's Production, they were the the leaders in it. I mean, they just ambushed me all because. I said I didn't like lasagna. Let's see here. So you better watch what you say around her, around them. Oh, the ribs, you said, if you come by. Yes, Shelly, you come by, I'll take you and we'll get some good ribs. So, and y'all weren't. Y'all were five hours from us the other day. If y'all went down, uh, what we call LA, Lower Alabama. I think about five and a half hours. I live up, if you ever want to Google it, I live up around Fort Payne, Alabama. That's our big city. And that's not really a big city. It's just where our Walmart is. We live just outside, about 10 miles outside of Fort Payne. But uh, if y'all ever get up here, it ribs is on me. We'll go up to Bama's Barbecue and there, there's one day a week they're closed. I think it's Monday. Anyway, and we got some awesome state parks up here around Fort Payne, Soda State Park. Hey, y'all gonna be want to come up here? Let me give you the list of what we have to offer in our area. We may have to have a meetup up here. Me and Tammy ever get monetized, we may have a meetup up here. But we Fort Payne, all right? We have. That is the home of the country music group, Hall of Fame group, Alabama. That is, that's where they're all from, and that's where they all live. Matter of fact, I go to church with Randy Owens, the lead singer, and his family. They all come to our church. A matter of fact, his sister and mom and him, I think, were founding members of our church. And uh, so, all right, we got that. We got a bunch of great eating places. We also have the Soda State Park. And Little River Canyon. Bunch of beautiful waterfalls. Uh, uh, DeSoto State Park's a nice campground. And if you like to go kayaking, DeSoto State Park, I'll have to do a video one day. I've got a bunch of video of kayaking there. But we can go kayaking about two miles one way up to Mentone, Alabama. A lot of y'all have heard of Mentone. That's beautiful in itself. They have like a color fest thing every year beautiful. Just Google Mentone, Alabama, and you'll find out all that. But the Soda State Park joins Mentone. It may actually be considered inside Mentone. Alright, so we got that. Alright, listen here, ladies. There's more. We also have guys like this, too. Unclaimed Baggage Center. The home, not Fort Payne, but Scottsboro, which is from Fort Payne. It's about 30 miles. So it's not that far. Uh, me and Tammy actually live between Fort Payne and Scottsboro, so. But unclaimed baggage, I mean, everything in there is, it, it is, you know, like I say, people lost luggage. I bought all kinds of stuff. You know, the battery sticks, uh, you know, it's got the USB ports to keep your phone charged, and you, like, I've got one hooked to my, uh, Bimble 2 to keep it charged, because it was about dead, my tripod. Anyway, uh, I bought battery sticks. They're about this big, a dollar. I mean, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of clothes, name brand, high-end clothes. Uh, I hardly, Steve Turtle would go nuts in this place because you can get all your name brand stuff for just a fraction of the cost and they wash it all. It's like going into a department store. It's not like going into a junk store. If you will Google Unclaimed Baggage, uh, I think it's Unclaimed Baggage Center, Scottsboro, Alabama, you will see. You could probably YouTube it. There are all kind of Good Morning America has come. They've been interviewed by a lot of news stations. So we got a lot of stuff. Plus we have the Tennessee River. 
We have Gunner for Lake. Gunner for Lake is they have a Bassmaster tournament here every year. Matter of fact, uh, they may have to put some of that off. But anyway, they have a big Bassmaster. We're right in the middle of a bunch of stuff. And there's more. We're about from the Soda State Park, 30 miles the other way to Gadsden, Alabama. It's Nakalula Falls. It's a beautiful place. And they have, you know, outlet shopping and our mall, uh, you know, all your big mall, y'all have them. That's nothing new, but Nakalula Falls is a pretty nice place to visit. And they have a campground at Nakalula Falls. I haven't camped there in a long time, me and Tammy Hatton, so I can't tell you really how good or bad it is, but... Let's see what else is going on over here. Oh, Shelly. You would love it. I tell you what, we're just going to have to have a, a get-together up here. Me and Tammy, maybe we get all the economy and everything back going here, we may, uh, well, shoot, we don't have to have a meet-up. We can just get together one weekend. You guys can just come up here, whoever wants to come, and we'll just hang out. Uh, I am good friends with some of the park uh, folks at the Soda State Park. Actually, me and Tammy, uh, our inflatable company that I was talking about in some of our other videos, we got a contract with the Soda State Park. We do work for them. And so, I'm good friends with them. Uh, a lot of the guys, or the ladies that work there, the girl that's over entertainment, uh, we're, we're pretty good friends with her. And her name slipped me. That's why I'm telling you, I'm terrible with names. But anyway, uh, uh, but we could get with her if, if several of y'all wanted to come sometime. It, about the only time me and Tammy can't do anything is October, and that's why we don't know if we're going to get to go do the Mayberry thing. We will definitely be a last minute thing. Uh, uh, there's probably two factors in that. If we're not doing anything, we'll probably be broke. <laughs> And if we are doing something, we won't get to go. But maybe it won't be that bad. We have tore loose in October before, so we just have to play it by air. We really do want to be there. So, But if not, maybe you guys can come back through from Mayberry down this way. And and if you come down through during the middle of the week, we'll be able to hang out with you guys. We won't be as busy during the, during the week as we are on the weekend. Uh... Mint BRV, you would absolutely love kayaking at the Soda State Park. You would love it. What it is, you put in at the dam and you kayak upstream to Mentone. About two miles, I think it is. And some days are, makes it more difficult. You don't have to go all the way up, but it's just sort of a lazy river kind of atmosphere. There's homes on each side. They allow boats, but you uh, it has to be like a you hardly, I've only ever seen one boat. It's always kayakers and, and canoers. Uh, all the times we've ever been going, I've only ever seen one boat. Uh, and I think they can only, you know, idle through there. Uh, but anyway, you don't have to worry about it. You can just kayak all the way up, and you nearly can drift all the way back, depending on what kind of... Uh, stream you got that day, but it is beautiful. I'll try to go through some of my footage if I got any left. I had to swap phones back in December and I lost some stuff. But if I can find some of it, I might throw together a little video for y'all to see. Y'all would love that. I'm telling y'all what, going back to the unclaimed baggage, you could spend a half a day there. You might have spend longer than that. A uh, guy, they got one department that's got camping and electronics and all kinds of stuff. Shoes. They sell. They do sell some like clothes out, like new stuff, like new. Like they had some new hunting boots back. Uh, toward the end of hunting season, they had a whole bunch of clothes out uh, hunting boots. It was a good price. Uh, I like to wear. I can't wear them every day, but at from a teenager, and I bet Bob had a pair of these. I used to wear Vans. They still, kids today wear them. But back when I was a teenager, I wore the black and white checkerboard Vans, and I'd wear them because I wore my, the hole through the toe. But uh, they usually keep Vans. I have a collection of them in my closet. I've got rid of some of them, but uh, I love Vans. I love wearing them, but they're not good for my back.
Yeah, coming back from uh, all you guys coming back, especially all you guys coming back south. Come back during the week. We can meet up at the soda for those who just wanted to. Uh, I could, because uh, they stay busy in the fall. But I know, see, even in Scottsboro, there's like Goose Pond Campground, and uh, uh, there's several. I mean, we can get somewhere close, surely. Uh, especially during the week, probably could get somewhere. And from here to South Alabama, it's about. Well, in an RV, six hours maybe. You can Google Fort Payne, Alabama, and that's where within a few miles of where we're at. And that'll give you an idea about your your planning if y'all want to do it. But if y'all do want to do that, let us know so me and Tammy can sort of plan out, and uh, and we'll try to plan out some cool stuff to do. Uh, that would be fun. And the Alabama Fan Club is in Fort Payne, so if y'all are country music fans, uh, I think they do have a small fee to tour the museum, but the, the fan club itself, the gift shop, you don't have to. Uh, and if any of y'all want to go to church, if it's a Sunday, you never know, Randy might be there. We, we don't have a lot of people come just for that, but you know, well, we never have. We've never had anybody come up to him at church. Uh, I don't think he would mind. No, I'm not saying that. They're super nice people, but we've never had that. Even during their, they have fan appreciation week, we've never had nobody to come to the church. I don't know if they just, they may want to keep that quiet. So, y'all just keep that between me and y'all. But everybody knows it around here anyway. So, uh, Hey guys, we're just chatting. We made some chocolate covered chips. Now we're chatting about unclaimed baggage. So we got unclaimed baggage, fan club, mammoth barbecue. That y'all now let me let me throw a disclaimer out about the ribs. I think it's the best rib to ever made. My wife absolutely hates them. Take that for what it's worth. But I'm a rib guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. Let's see here. Yes, a meetup. Yeah, all you guys that's going, y'all float that over in your head. And even, look, me and Tammy's around here all the time. If y'all are going to be coming through, holler at us. We'd be glad to take y'all to some of them places. Like I said, especially during the week. Weekends, we stay crazy busy. Usually from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We can't hardly keep our head on straight. It, we... We set up, usually start on Thursdays and Fridays for Saturday events, and then finish, you know, like we have Sunday events, we'll set up on Sunday, and then Sunday evening and Monday, generally, we're tearing down everything, and, and then Monday, we finish tearing down and do any repairs we need to make, clean any inflatables need to be cleaned, which, whatever. And then Tuesday, we start focusing on the end of the week as far as getting all of our schedules set up, talking to all of our customers, making sure we got power, you know, the whole the whole thing. And uh, That's why I was excited to have a Tuesday night spot in the lineup, because that's the best time. We, if we start doing church parties, different times of the year, we do Wednesday night church parties. And then Thursday, we start setting up for the weekend. But generally, we can make time, say Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Generally, we can, as long as it's not the week of Halloween. Week of Halloween is our busiest week of the year. That and right around Easter. And that's why we've been hurt so bad. We lost uh, one event a couple of days ago for Easter. They've done canceled nearly $2,100. Just one event. And so that hurts you when that's your, your grocery money coming out of the winter. But like I say, I don't want no bleeding heart for us, but I'm just telling y'all, it affects everybody. We're all in the same boat. So. All right, guys, we've been on here a while, hour and a half at least. What else y'all got to say? Everybody unclaimed baggage? Yep, four and a half hours. I was thinking it was about five hours RV underway. Me and Tammy had planned on going down there here this coming week, but can't do that now. I had not talked to them yet, but we were sort of trying to set back and plan and 
and we wanted to go down there and meet up with them and uh, whoever else was down in that area but can't do that right now but we've had two trips to get canceled we have headed to Kentucky a couple of weeks ago and they got flooded it was flooded you couldn't get in anywhere up there and so we didn't get to go on that one then we was going to head south we didn't even talk about going to San Troop Duo in Arkansas and uh, just couldn't get anything then all this happened and so you know Daddy said they'd be days like this, so. But it'll all come together. We get back going, it'll be all good and fun. Are they dry or wet ribs? Now, I said I was a rib connoisseur. I don't know what, I've never had, quote, dry ribs. I don't know. Are you talking about dry rubbed or whatever? I don't know. All I know is they're delicious and and they'll melt in your mouth. I don't know what, like I say, I'm not a chef, so all I know is what I like to eat. So. Let's see. Trying to keep up, make sure I didn't miss anybody. Meant to be our van. I watched your uh, video here yesterday, I think, or last night, or this morning, sometime, about selling your boat. I remember me and Tammy sold our life boat. But you pulling that boat up on that trailer, my wife wouldn't do that for nothing in this world. We got caught in a storm, an unexpected storm down in Scottsboro. Me and Keisha, we would actually camped at, at a campground down there at a Gunner State Park, which that's another nice campground. Matter of fact, they just redone it, and I haven't been down there since they redone it. They closed it for a while, but it's open. They got a beach and everything. But anyway, uh, we were down there camping, and, and we had the boat out, and water was running up down, and we were in the boat, and an unexpected storm come up. I mean, it was bad. And uh, Tammy, we had the boat and the trailer, the, the truck and the trailer back campground lot where you park the trailer. I told Tammy, I said, look, you've either got to drive the boat or you got to go get the truck trailer and back it in the water. Got to do one of them. We got to get this boat out of the water or it's going to sink. It's coming bad. And all of the boat for running to the boat ramp and we're all trying to get out. And even under pressure, she got that bad boy back in the water. I was so proud of her. She was a nervous wreck. We were, that's been a lot of years ago. Keisha was a little thing. We didn't even have Thomas then. But she done a good job, she put it in there, but there's no way under the sun she'd pulled one up on the trailer. She'd been afraid she'd tore it up. But you nailed that the other day, too. Got it up there the first time. And I love that boat, too, by the way. Sauce. I'm going to say sauce. Yep. I have tried to buy their dipping sauce. They won't sell it. I told him, I said, y'all need to sell this dipping sauce. I could eat their dipping sauce up here at Batman's Barbecue. I could take a bottle of their dipping sauce and a loaf of bread. That's all I need. And that may be why I like their ribs so much. All right, guys, I think I've talked y'all to death. I had a good time. If y'all like this and want us to keep doing this, tell us down below in the comments. And, uh, we love doing them. We just don't want to blow everybody up with it. And we'll do, I'll get Tammy in here. We'll do some more of this. This is fun. And I like talking to all y'all. And it keeps our mind off what's going on. And I just want to say again, I, I, this is all going to be good. Let's, let's enjoy this time off. I know it's hard. Let's just enjoy it. And enjoy being with our family. And like our... Uh, I'm real good friends with the school superintendent here. He's like a little brother to me. Him and my brother are best friends. And he said the other day, he said, enjoy all this time together. Don't look at it as a, a negative. Because there ain't nothing none of us can do about it. Let's just enjoy it and have fun and watch movies. Y'all see me logging out a live stream because I say, gotta go. Gotta go spend some time with this. And if I spend all my time on YouTube, uh, whoops. Look at that, I broke it. Uh, if I spent all my time on YouTube, we wouldn't make it to 33. That'd be bad. There wasn't no way up put up with me. She done got me trained like she liked me. But I love her. Love all you guys. Y'all have a good day. We're going to get off here. I think go over to the computer and turn this off. But I hope I can figure out how to turn it off here. Have a good day, guys. Love you guys.